Hello, I'm Runya, aka Media Adaptation, and welcome back to Moderation's 31 Days of Halloween. A new day and a new type of media to cover. And today we're going to go back to the world of cartoons, a topic that we covered at length before. Yeah, we've made several videos about them before, but sadly none of them have been re-uploaded yet because SOMEBODY KEEPS GETTING SICK! Ah, <sighs> thanks Pink for pointing that out. You're always so helpful. Of course I'm helpful. I'm supposed to be. I'm amazing. And this amazing friend of yours is tired of you getting sick! Oh, like it's my fault. Pretty much! <sighs> For the love of really aspires, why do I even put up with you? Oh, because you love me? Ah, uh, yes, of course I do, because there's nothing more powerful than the power of love. Except this M32 rotary grenade launcher, because fuck you and everyone around you, Runya! Anyway, today's video is going to talk about the new Disney Channel cartoon, The Ghost and Molly McGee, which thankfully posted its first two episodes here on YouTube. We start off in the ghost world, where the council judges you based on the overall happiness of the town. And if you fail, then you're replaced. The titular ghost is called Scratch, who oversees Brighton, the town where Molly and her family moves to, and also the place where Scratch calls home. Molly is an overly happy and optimistic child who is blown away by the thought of having a ghost around. Scratch is having none of this and invokes some magic. If you won't leave, then I curse you, Molly McGee. Wherever you go, whatever you do, for the rest of your days, I'll be haunting you, tormenting you, turning your every waking moment into an unending nightmare. Which Molly takes as being her new best friend. Yeah, Scratch just really screwed himself over, as he's now bound to her forever, and is also summoned to her whenever she calls his name. Going over the fine print of the spell, the only way for it to stop is for them to leave the house willingly. So he tries scaring the parents, which works at first, but Molly shows him that he's all bark and no bite. The family is also part Taiwanese, and talking to her grandma, they treat ghosts differently which is always a nice touch in these stories. They treat ghosts with respect, giving them a vessel to dwell in, which takes the form of a creepy dollhouse that she has, and is given offerings of food. Scratch is a ghost that, while effective at his job, is not really liked by his peers. So this arrangement is actually the first time he's seen any form of respect. But that also means that the town's happiness raises ever so slightly so he'll have to find a way to offset that in the future. The second episode is slightly less good. It's the first day at school, and she gets on the wrong side of a popular girl by simply mispronouncing her name. I know this is a play for last, but after we got something like Owl House last year, a poorly written bully really stands out. So in short, Scratch accidentally scares her, causing her to pass out, Molly tries to get her to hell, but things go sideways fast, so Scratch possesses her and sets things right. Again, playing off the fact that while he wants her to leave, she's still the only one who actually respects him. This isn't a bad show, but just a bit inconsistent. Again, like I said before, the show is mostly played for laughs, but there are some general moments of true sadness. There is a reason why their family keeps moving around, and it does take a toll on her. I really wish we can get some more insight on this later. Also, why she's so clingy and not wanting to lose a best friend. Kind of the mere opposite of Scratch's predicament. Both technically wanting the same thing, even if he doesn't want to show it. The A story makes up for B's shortcomings, and while I don't see this being the next Owl House, I really think they have a bright future. Or they can just crash and burn. It is Disney Channel after all. But that about does it for this video. If you have any topics for future projects, then feel free to post them down in the comments below. And while you're down there, why not like, and make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Still slowly recovering from the deletion. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. Anyway, I'm Runya, invite you to join us again for the next night. Weep not for 
children, for life is this way. Murdering beauty and passion. Hush now, dear children, it must be this way.